Blink charging stock analysis. Welcome to another video guys. In this video we're going to talk about Blink charging one of the biggest charging network companies in the United States. So I talked previously about how I liked charge point. That's my number one favorite play in the uh, EV charging space. But Blink is, is a is a decent competitor as well. So they're the number two largest charging network in the United States. And since uh, the switchback energy uh, stock that's the spat that's going to turn into charge point has run up a ton uh, blink has run up a ton as well this week so both of these stocks have actually crushed it and blink is up over a hundred percent so let's get right into the video guys and give you guys a breakdown of blink charging stock um give you guys some background on the company what type of growth they're going to do and I'll give you guys my price prediction and, and how i would trade this stock so guys blink charging let's get right into it so this company is very similar to charge point uh they generate revenue uh, various ways so they generate revenue through uh charging stations selling software advertising and basically setting up different business deals so the good thing about blink charging they're very similar to charge point they design manufacture own and operate their own charging station so a little bit different charge point actually generates a lot of revenue they don't actually own all of the charging stations a lot of the revenue they generate is generated through uh selling uh the software and the charging devices to a, a third party and then they kind of generate revenue passively but blink uh believes in owning their own stations and they have a little bit a uh, different footprint so the majority of charge point stations are located in north america and europe and actually blink has exposure to the middle east and latin america so a little bit different exposure here guys and although blink is a lot smaller i think it's an excellent position to do really really well so you know to basically um you know keep things short uh global ev purchases are forecasted to rise to 10 million by 2025 so people need to charge their vehicles and you've already seen you know with ice with internal internal combustion combustible uh engine vehicles how we have you know exxon stations and gas stations all over the place well this is what you're going to see in the future you're going to see a lot of charging stations so why charging stations guys well let's go over some of the facts and then i'll take you guys through uh the latest quarterly report talk about the revenue and things like that and get to my price projection so guys that have all of this information on the blink charging website you can check it out on their ir so give you guys a quick breakdown of how everything looks uh right now they have about twenty three thousand uh charging stations okay so obviously that is a lot smaller than um charge point so charge point has over one hundred and forty thousand. so one of the reasons why this stock is a, such a smaller market cap is simply because it's just a much smaller company in general so now as you see here we take a look at the current market cap the market cap has run up a ton so right now sitting at around 700 million dollar company guys so you know obviously things have grown a ton and a lot of people have kind of realized that uh, this company is going to make a ton of money so as you can see here they already have 180,000 registered members with 23,000 charging stations and even some exposure to the Middle East and getting into Latin America as well so they generate revenue through uh, char charging dry uh, EV drivers to charge their cars selling the hardware providing network uh, connectivity processing payments and from advertising so guys they have a lot of different ways they, they generate revenues you can take a look at some of their products here so they basically have uh products for charging on the go charging at home um software all different things like that and their business model is just like charge point everywhere you can park is an opportunity to charge your car so they've they're work, trying to work with many clients there's a lot of um different companies and organizations and stuff like that restaurants um you know uh, supermarkets banks they have parking spaces and these spaces can be used to charge vehicles to generate more revenue so another thing i like about the company is that it's a founder-led company and founder-led companies tend to outperform uh, non-founder-led companies over the over the long run so michael fargus he is the ceo and founder so that's a really good sign uh, when the founder is actually heading the company you know as we've seen with amazon and facebook and Tesla uh, founder led companies do perform very very well over the long term so that is a huge plus so now guys what I want to do is I want to take you over to uh, give you guys a further in-depth breakdown and then we're gonna head over to the quarterly and now okay so as you can see here I'm on the investor presentation so this is kind of a, 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 a bird's eye view of where their charging stations are so they have a pretty good footprint uh, not as big as charge point of course but I think this is the second biggest player here and as you can see here this is a chart projecting the growth in EV uh, vehicles so one of the good things about charge point is is that you don't have to guess 
which company is going to do well. So as you can see here, you've got lots of different companies that are headed into the EV revolution. You've got Ford, Tesla, uh, Toyota, Volkswagen. Also, you have these smaller companies, right? Like Fisker, right? And you have uh, companies like Solo, right? And you have companies like RC Moto, right? You have companies like RC Moto getting into it. Well, the good thing about this stock is that it doesn't really matter which which company um, sells cars because you're going to make money anyway. So I think for a lot of people that are kind of worried about whether they're picking the right EV stock based on like who's going to buy their cars, I think if you invest in the charging station, so charge point, blink and things like that, that's kind of a way to passively make money on the revolution and you're not really worried about vehicle sales. So like I said guys, and the, one of the nice things about this company is that they're growing the registered members. So it just seems like every year they're adding on tens of thousands of new members to the network and that's a great sign. That means this company is growing you want members you want long-term customers you don't want people to charge once and then not use your your services anymore you want to charge them week after week after week so as you can see here is a couple look at some of their products things like that they even have a home charging station as well and even a portable charger so like i said their whole business model is trying to partner with a lot of these different companies and things like that so obviously there's a lot of different ways that they can generate money and we're just on the brink of um this charging revolution uh th we're literally like in the first inning if we were to compare it to a baseball game we have a long way to go uh they even have a partnership with uh google maps as well that charge point also has a partnership as well so they're making it easy guys and if you actually go to google right now and just type in charging station near me you'll see some of these companies like charge point and blink you'll see these companies pop up on your google maps so this is just the beginning guys now i also wanted to talk about their international expansion because this is something that really charge point is basically focused on Europe and North America so I saw some interesting things here um, you know uh, blink is interested in going to the Middle East and Latin America so they have a partnership to bring charging equipment in Israel and they also have a partnership with another company to bring charging to Latin America so I think if you own I, I think you can actually own both of these stocks me personally I prefer uh, charge point I just think it has a much bigger footprint but I think blink is definitely a good competitor as well and it says here by 2030 the US is estimated to need 13 million charging stations guys so this is definitely one of the companies that's going to be very very involved in the charging revolution so now that I talked a little bit about the overview of the company and some of its products let's get down into the financials guys and then we'll talk a little bit more about price prediction do some technical analysis and wrap things up so um, like I said, guys, you can find all this information if you just go to the BlinkCharging.com website and head over to their quarterly report. So looking at some of the, the numbers, the revenue is substantially lower than ChargePoint. So nine-month revenue is, is up 84% to $3.8 million, and they deployed around 668 uh, charging stations across 25 states. So the total revenue for... Um, uh, the total revenue for the quarter was just under a million dollars and uh, product sales grew 74 percent so this company is still losing money of course but the good thing about it is is that they are making progress we want to see what things are growing kind of um, year over year we don't want to just look at things in the short term because we know that as more and more people get uh, electric vehicles more and more people are going to use the services guys so to give you guys kind of a comparison on types of revenue it looks like this company's doing basically if they've done 3.8 million over three quarters they're doing just on just about five million dollars a year and charge point is doing about 135 million a year so just just keep in mind that this is a far smaller company but has the potential to grow into a much larger company in the future guys so to give you guys a couple of more updates on what they're doing they're basically signing lots of deals trying to increase their footprint uh, what i would think is they're trying to obviously catch charge point who has a much much bigger lead on them but this is another small cap stock that has the potential to grow in a massive massive way we saw this with tesla i'm going to keep using the example of tesla 10 years ago tesla stock was trading at just two to three dollars and now look what happened so you know a lot of you guys out here are wondering you know every big company started at one point as a small company now maybe not some of these IPOs like uber and things like that or snowflake but a lot of companies started as small cap stocks and grew into large cap stocks in the long run and I think blink charging is definitely fits the bill it's not even a billion dollar market cap uh, you know in the next 
two, three, five, ten years, we're going to just see an explosion of, of electric vehicles on the road. And a lot of people that are going to be born, they'll probably never even experience a gas guzzler in their life in the future. So definitely a lot of opportunity here for this stock. So now guys, now let's talk a little bit about price prediction and do a little bit of technical analysis. Okay, so here we are on TradingView, one of my favorite softwares for doing a bit of technical analysis guys so if we're taking a look at here this is the year to date chart we can see that the stock was just at ugh, hard to believe that this stock was just a dollar uh, several months ago and one of the things that's been driving the stock price up a bit is that a lot of these stocks uh, electric vehicle stocks EV stocks started popping in July and uh, you can see here the volume is up substantially so you know over just over like the past week or so the volume is ticked up so we're looking at around if it looks like a lot of people have the stock on their radar now so at 44 million and it just looks like the volume is going to continue increasing it's like this what's really going to drive the price in the short run is volume okay so when you see a stock jump up in huge volume and you see it turn green that means that there's a lot of buyers coming into this stock and for good reason um you know under a billion dollars with over 23,000 charging stations it looks very very underpriced to give you guys a comparison tesla stock is is gone through the roof it's at a massive market cap so you know charging stations are one of the things where like people have to decide if they want to buy a tesla but they have to charge their vehicle whether they have a tesla a kia a gm a ford you know a solo so these charging stations are basically going to basically take a lot of the a lot of the revenue that exxon and bp uh, was generating in the past and we know that before the whole uh, pandemic a lot of these companies like Exxon Mobil and, and BP were trading at massive market cap so we're, we're in a transitionary phase and obviously Exxon and BP are, are scrambling you know to kind of adapt to the new clean energy renewable energy movement but blink charging already has 180,000 members so as we can see here basically now is a good time to buy so obviously a lot of people are talking about whether this charging revolution is a bubble i would say the ev stock selling actual vehicles it's much more risky i think charge point and blink charging is much safer because we know people have to charge their vehicles regardless so even if there's a change in consumer taste like let's say people in the future don't want to buy a tesla or maybe people in the future don't want to buy a ford well it really won't affect blink so i think some of the smartest money is just going to into the charging companies uh, there's an old saying you know back in the california gold rush back in the 1800s where everyone was moving west to look for gold the people that got some of the people that got rich were selling picks and axes so it's not about like necessarily looking to see uh, you know, which car company is going to do the best. But if you just buy the charging networks, I think that's a great way to make money and a lot less stressful and just easier to deal with. You're not dealing with ebbs and flows and, um, you know, s deliveries and things like that, guys. So now I think for a future price target, uh, I think this stock is definitely completely undervalued. Um, now the revenue isn't as great as I would like to see, but we know that you're basically buying it for future growth now. So my conservative price target for ChargePoint in the near run, I think it's definitely a billion dollar company. Although the revenue isn't there yet, um, we're going to see a massive, massive change in consumer taste in 2021. I think this is just the beginning. I think next year is when uh, electric vehicles become mainstream. So for me, a conservative price target would basically be about $30. That would put it right around the market cap of like a billion dollars and i think that's definitely what this company is worth i mean if charge point is looks like charge point is probably valued now once it goes uh ipo it'll probably be valued around like let's say because mm, the stock has run up a ton so it might be valued maybe around seven eight nine billion and charge point has around 140 four thousand stations and this company is twenty three thousand so to give it a conservative price point i think around a billion one to one billion dollar market cap would be a good range for blink charging so now that means that blink charging has more upside guys so it already doubled in this week but i don't see this slowing down any soon it's just not properly valued based on what charge point is basically currently valued at and based on the long-term potential and the fact is is that a lot of people are going to be um, researching these vehicles, especially in the winter. We've got a lot of um, pandemic lockdowns coming in in um, in this winter, so we got a lot of people that are going to be looking to avoid, you know, social distance themselves, which means more people are going to buy charge cars, which means more people are going to have to charge them. So that's my bullish take on uh, 
blink charging one of the best stocks so a couple of ways you can trade stock obviously you can buy a long position or you can trade options on a place like Robinhood. I think it's best to just buy calls on this. Uh, they have uh, some, the, the nearest expiration date is like December 18th. So even if you buy the call and it dips a bit down, you still have a couple weeks or two to make your money back, guys. So that's my take on Blink Charging, guys. Please smash the red subscribe button if you enjoy my content. And let me know if you want me to cover any more stocks um, in the comment section. Just leave a comment. If enough people give the comment a thumbs up, I'll make sure to make a video on it, guys. So that's it. Until next time, take care.